All right, man. This is CG Ruthless 49ers Talk. It's your real update of the 49ers Talk, you know, because I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. You know, everybody's talking about Brock Purdy. I mean, through six games, he looks like a veteran, but you got to look at it this way. Not enough much film. He's playing six games. But here's the question. How far can Purdy go? This is a loaded team. You know, keeping it a buck with y'all. But eventually, a defense is going to figure him out. But it's probably going to be too late by this season. But what I'm trying to say is, what really stood out from Brock Purdy, okay? The way he makes up for the mistakes. Like, okay, when it comes to those receivers not getting the ball or not catching it at times, he kind of catches on to the next time that when they see them open, he believes in the player. Like, if somebody drops the ball, he's going to come right back to them and say, hey, dude, I, I trust you, I believe in you. I like that about a quarterback, the poise. If he has a moment of struggles, he's not going to take it, like, frustrated. He's not going to be like that. He's kind of, like, more chill about it, and he goes on. Like, when it comes to making a little mistake, he'll go hard on himself for the better not for the worst but for the better because he kind of seems like he's got that winning attitude the more you watch this kid play he looks the part he looks like a veteran out there when you saw that playoff game you saw the first half didn't look too flashy all right i saw the game throughout the entire game he didn't look flashy in the beginning but in the second half he started to make those adjustments. He started to play better. And the more you watch how this guy plays, bro, it's like, who passed on this kid? You know, he's the last pick in the draft. And there's just a lot of blue chip on his shoulder. Because the fact that you're picked the last tells you that it motivates you. You know, when you're like that last pick... It kind of reminds me when you play a pickup basketball game or a pickup backyard football or whatever, and you end up being the last pick. And you end up proving to that person who picked you on the team that you are the better player. And then the next time, they're saying, Oh, we should have got you. You know, we're gonna draft you, we're gonna get you next time. We're gonna get you, we're gonna get you so early next time. That that's what it seems like. Because the way Brock Purdy plays, bro, he plays like he's like a top first round talent, actually. The more you watch his game, he gets better. The arm strength, that's what everybody questions about, is that arm strength. But he can make up for that part. He can improve that area. I've talked with his coach, the quarterback coach, and that's always been the weakness side of his game. But what really stands out about Brock Purdy is he, he's willing to improve on a lot of stuff. He works a lot harder than most athletes that he's ever been around. And the fact that he took a different route to go to Iowa State, to make a name for himself, to go from a school that wasn't quite big in high school, he could have went to another school to be a part of that. But he turned that program around. So Brock Purdy just wanted to make a name for himself. set Like, make a mark. make Make something more memorable in his own perspective but the the way he plays bro he doesn't lack confidence he plays with, with just he doesn't lack it whatsoever but he has that moxie bro something about him that players like bro and he can directly be a leader bro the way they talk about how he yells into the huddle bro they listen this guy's a leader this guy's a general bro like, I wanted to see a lot of, I wanted to see, like, at least a lot of game samples, and I'm very impressed. You know, realistically, bro, it, it depends on how he plays, bro, but winning a playoff game against your rival, like the Seattle Seahawks, for a third time, bro, that is kind of hard to, like, say, you know what, Brock, we might have to just let you compete with Trey, even though Trey didn't lose the job personally because he was injured but you know what happens bro when you're injured your job ain't safe bro this is the wally pip of the nfl bro if you're injured you're you pretty much or or kind of like losing your opportunity from there 
So what really gives Brock Purdy the advantage is because he's played a lot of college football. He's played a lot of different experience. He's played around bigger games. He's got more experience, and he knows how to fit to this offense, bro. Just, just the way you watch this kid play, bro, it's kind of hard to just say, you know what, Brock, you're, you're not, you're not going to be our starter next year. That, that, it just, it doesn't seem to be that way, bro. You can't just go back to Trey, bro. I, I like Trey Lance. Don't get me wrong, but it's, it's kind of hard to just go back to Trey, because if Brock Purdy can be just like that consistently, bro, this Niners team could be contending for years to come, bro. Brock Purdy just isn't some regular rookie, bro. In this offense, bro, he looks like he can be one of the top best quarterbacks in that draft class. Dude, he's looking better than, than Kenny Pickett, bro. He's looking better than some of the quarterbacks in that draft class. But I'm saying, bro, if he turns out to be one of the best picks of all time, bro, we can look back in time. And if he does win a Super Bowl... If he wins a Super Bowl, bro, I think it'll go down as one of the greatest football stories of all time. You can put it on Walt Disney. You can put it in Hollywood, bro. Whatever you want. Mr. Irrelevant, the last pick of the draft. Whatever you want to put on this kid, bro. This kid has proven time and time again that he is a, a football player, bro. He was born to play football. The way he plays, bro, he plays kind of like backyard football. He can he can move outside the pocket. He, he has a lot of confidence, bro. And that is something that most quarterbacks usually have to have if they're going to play at the next level. They have to have confidence, bro. They got to believe in themselves. And you got to be a leader, bro. And you got to take those chances because some quarterbacks, they're not, like, going to risk it all, bro. But if you can take shots just like that and your coach believes in you and gives you more chances to throw the ball, that speaks volume, bro. Under with Jimmy Garoppolo, bro, when he was our quarterback, did Shanahan ever, like, take chances with Garoppolo to throw more passes at most, like, other times? Not much, bro. He barely had him throw the ball. He barely had him throw the ball much in the playoffs, let alone in some games. He didn't have to be asked to throw the ball as much, bro. But you look at Brock Purdy in the playoffs, he actually has way more better stats, bro. In one playoff game, Brock Purdy has... Almost the entire career stats of Jimmy Garoppolo's playoff stats, bro. He has three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, 332 yards passing. And Jimmy Garoppolo, for whatever reason, bro, he, he's just one more game away from surpassing Jimmy Garoppolo in the playoff stats-wise, bro. What really makes him so better is he's young and he's only going to get better. So I'm telling you guys... Realistically, it's going to be a lot harder to just go back to Trey, bro. I like Trey, but if Brock Purdy continues to win, bro, and he wins that Super Bowl, bro, it's definitely going to be sweeter for the faithful to enjoy the 6 Lombardi, bro. This kid can go as further as that team can go, bro. McCaffrey, McCaffrey bails him out. Debo Samuel makes his job easy. Brendan Ayuk makes his job easy. Juwan Jennings makes his job easy. George Kittle, bro, that guy in the red zone, the guy he trusts, bro, it makes his job so easy, bro. Shanahan can make a lot of good schemes for this kid, bro. This is this is this is a match made in heaven, and you didn't even have to trade up for this kid. You didn't have to trade up to get him. You got him in the last pick in the draft. You must have hit the lo the lottery, bro. You must have hit the lotto when you got the last pick in the draft, bro. Because when they call him Mr. Irrelevant, there's nothing irrelevant about him. He is more relevant at that spot. So I'm telling you like it is, bro. Brock Purdy seems like the real deal. But we're talking six games, bro. I'm very impressed with the poise, the way he takes the game serious, bro. He's just going to get better in time, bro. I like what I've seen. So let me know what y'all think. But that is my overall re review of what I've seen from Brock Purdy. And I just like it, bro. So, see y'all later. And as always, go Niners.